Florida. Jackson Holiday, the number one pick of the 2022 MLB draft. The Look 20 year old phenom. Look at him. He's coming up to Baltimore. Look at him. They tried to keep him down, but he kept hitting like crazy. Dude. I'm excited about this. What's it like to be excited about baseball, Ben? Man, it's it feels good. It feels good. Um, I would like to be excited about baseball. Yeah, it feels really good. Now, uh, the Orioles, uh, you know, they, the start's been okay. It ha- I don't think it's it hasn't been one seed in the AL. <laughs> um, so, you know, do you know? Here's, it's April 10th. I yep. look forward to this yep. this day because this is the typically I'm gonna. The championship game on Monday. It's been Tuesday, top 25 and one in, wrapping up t- stuff, TV stuff. And then I fly home. And then the Wednesday, after the title game. Yep. Oh, buddy, I know what I'm doing today. I'm watching baseball. Yep. This is like this is like maybe my favorite day of the year. Yes. The Wednesday after the national title game. I have not watched a single baseball game all year because I've just been. Sure, it just started and you've been. Consumed in it, yeah. I've been waiting for this day, Bennett. Mm-hmm. And this day is it's a good day for Baltimore. It's a bad day for me. I got nothing to be excited about when it comes to baseball. <laughs> I mean, dude, you're, it's not. They're already it, done. No, they're not. They're they not. They stink. They're not done. Four and seven is not even close to done. They stink. Now you ain't. You, there, it's a miracle they're four and seven. They somehow beat the Braves. I went through security yesterday. Now NL East, no, that's that's I that's done. Win. NL East is done. Okay, yeah. I'll acknowledge that for you. I went through security yesterday at the Sky Harbor International Airport in Phoenix, mm-hmm. and I had my goofy Mets hat on, and a fella goes at TSA. He said, "I bet I bet against the Mets yesterday." And lost. And I said, well, because the Mets somehow beat the Braves. Yeah. I don't even know how that happened. Now, baseball's a weird sport to try to bet on, dude. This fella said, I bet against the Mets and I lost. And I said, well, I, I've been betting on the Mets for years and I usually lose. So mm-hmm. there you go. Yeah. You just, you just caught them on the wrong day. Yeah. Right. No, dude. It's not, I, th- I think y'all might need to, I think y'all might need to st- start thinking about doing something. Like my life, but, my life, my life's pretty good, Bennett. But yeah. like, you know, Last season, I had to go through an entire baseball season of suckiness, mm-hmm. and then and then I transitioned right into the Grizzly season. Mm-hmm. You know how that went. Yep. And now I'm on a, back to sucky baseball. I mean, dude, where am I supposed to find my joy, dude? You got a. Ch- where do I find my joy? You can find your joy. So you got a chance to win this Brave series. Like it's still right there in front of you, and then that's gonna get can't you. Can't win a Brave series. You it. it's it's right there in front of you. Win today, you're good. Can't win today. Win today Never and win. you're good. If you win today, okay, I know that like hanging anything on one game of regular season baseballs a regular season of baseball is irrational and stupid. If you win today, you're gonna be a little more excited. Aren't you? If y'all win today and get to five and seven and win this Brave series, because it's just three games, right? I think there's another one. I think we go to again tomorrow. Oh shit. Well, okay, well See what I'm right, even the series. Okay. Tie the series. I'd like that. I'll take a tie. You'd be excited. I could, You'd I, feel a lot better than you do right now. Yeah, maybe I'm just beating down right now. You, you know? would feel a lot maybe better I'm just than you do right down. now. Maybe I'm just beating down. Maybe I just need to get in front of the TV and start soaking it in, you know? Yeah. Tonight's big. Tonight's a big one. It's a big opportunity today. <laughs> yes, All right, I just need to big. get in front. Maybe I just need to get in front of the TV. Tonight's big for you. All right, morale. I'm looking forward to getting in front of the TV. Yeah. All right. Yeah. All right. Congratulations to uh, you, though. I'm pumped. Jackson Holiday's coming up. Hey, they didn't want to fast track him like this. That was not the plan, but they can't keep him at triple. Like, he went down to triple A, you know? All seriousness, it just went pop, pop, pop. Yeah, he had an amazing spring right. training, amazing AAA start. And the thing that was kind of surprising about that is the Orioles have actually had success with bringing these guys up early, like Adley Rushman, Gunnar Henderson. Right. Like, they've had success throwing these guys in the I, fire. You know, I don't run a baseball franchise, yeah. but I don't understand why you just got to – like, we don't do this in other sports. No. You don't make – you don't draft college football players and then make them play something other than the NFL for two years. Right. But it, or, or you don't draft – um like, imagine if Victor Wimbanyama was going to play in the G League for two years before he got to the NBA. It's crazy. That's what they do in baseball, though. Yeah, and the thing is, is it's not like you're preventing wear and tear or anything like that. They're still playing Triple A baseball, so what's the point? It's just, it's just they feel like they got to slow play everything. Yeah, I don't know. I don't I'm confident. I'm confident they know what they're doing. But like, why can you draft a 19 year old in the NBA? And just it's understood he's going straight to the NBA, and that's where he belongs. Right. But if you draft a 19 year old. Out of high school in Major League Baseball, 
it's like we'll see him in three years. Yeah. I also didn't realize this. There's a reason, that they, another reason they're doing this. Uh, so because they're calling him up within the first two weeks of the season, there's something called the prospect promotion incentive that I didn't know nothing about. So Baltimore gets an extra first-round pick for bringing him up before this deadline. Because franchises yeah. used to manipulate your service time. They'd keep you down. This was a big thing with oh Chris Bryant mm -hmm. in Chicago. It was like so obviously like they should have brought like they 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 brought him whatever they brought Chris Bryant up his talent suggested he should have already been up mm -hmm. but they had to wait to a certain date um, to be able to get an extra year before he would enter free agency so there was this huge like franchisers are manipulating service time mm -hmm. and this is one way to to try to alleviate that is to you know hey if you bring him up you won't get that extra year before he hits free agency but we can compensate you in another way. So, so congratulations. I'm glad you're happy. I'm just happy. Very happy. I'm happy for you guys. Go, go O's. Go O's. Go O's. The Gary Parish Show, live weekdays at 10 a.m.